What's up YouTube? Welcome to another of my tutorials on Photoshop CS3. Um, a lot of people have been messaging me asking me if I could do a tutorial on how to create a CD cover. And here I am. This, is, this tutorial is going to show you guys how to do exactly that. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is of course open up Photoshop and go to File and New. Um, always name your your files that way it's not confusing. I'm gonna name mine 50 cent album cover. So I'm gonna do this album cover of 50 cent. The width should be 800 and the height should be 800. That's regular CD cover size. Um, resolution keep it at 72 and background content put it under transparent. Is that okay? And you're gonna get a square like this. It should have the little um, squares in the background. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the paint pocket tool and just color the background black. That's all. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in my stock, which is a stock is a background for a CD cover or anything you're working on. So we're just going to drag and drop that in, like so. And use the move tool to just move this around a little bit. That, that's perfect how it is right there. Now, um, I got my stocks at officialpsds.com. I'll post the um, the link on the description box. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our PSD, which I already have here, ready to be cut out. I'm gonna just drag and drop that in. Now, the person that cut this obviously did a bad cut because you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it because of the bad quality on YouTube, but left the white line there. So I'm just going to erase that real quick. Alright, that should be it. Yeah, that's it. Alright, now as you can see, it just looks like I just threw 50 cent just on a normal background. And he's not even blended in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blend him in using gradient maps. Now, gradient maps, simple, but everybody seems to confuse them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the color swatches that are right here. And using the eyedrop tool, we're going to select a light color. It has to be a light color because if not, then, you know, it's going to come out. Well, it doesn't really have to be a light color, actually. I'm going to actually choose a pretty dark color. Like a navy, there you go, like a navy blue type of color. Now, we're going to go to the adjustment layers, which is the half black and half white circle on your layers palette. And we're going to go to gradient map. And I should turn the whole picture, navy blue and white. Just hit OK. And go to your blending options which is in your layers palette and it should be on normal and set it to soft light and now we're gonna go again to gradient maps and click the drop down and click black and white and it should turn black and white just hit OK and go to your drop down your layers palette again to your blending options and just press soft light or you could do it overlay which makes it a little darker or you can go to luminosity which makes it a lot lighter I like soft light so I'm gonna leave it at soft light alright and we're gonna drop the opacity down to 75 because that's just too dark there's 75 the opacity is also in the layers pad alright now now we got the blending out of the way now you can see that he's blended in that it doesn't look like I just added him in there Alright, we're gonna click D on the D-pad just to just to um default the colors back to normal. Now we're gonna bring in speakers. Um I just wanted to get creative and I thought I'll just put speakers on back of him. So just bring in the speakers and hold control T, Command T for Mac, and while that will bring up your transformation and then um, just hold shift and drag the corners there 
Now we're going to drag the speakers layer below the 50 cent layer. So it's behind them. Like that. And that's good. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to put one on this side too. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the speaker layer. Which makes another one as you can see. And we're going to press Control T or Command T. Again. And then right click and click on flip horizontal and that's gonna flip it the other way and just set it the way you want it which to me right there is perfect alright now 50 cent has two speakers behind them now I wanna group these two speakers together that way they when I move them they move together instead of separately so what I'm gonna do is click I'm gonna press control G which is group and a group is gonna it's gonna add a group to your layers palette and just drag the the speakers into the group and now as you can see they move together alright um I'm gonna continue this tutorial as a part two because YouTube just takes too long to upload so watch part two and I'll finish the rest of the video